We're members of First Presbyterian Church Youth Group. Thanks for taking a minute to watch this video. Watching this video and hearing our message could save a life. Crazy, right? You're like a high school senior. How are you going to do that? But you can, and it's pretty easy to do. We aren't asking you for money. We aren't asking you for a day of walking in the hot sun or running in the race. We aren't asking you to believe what we believe. We aren't asking you to come to church. But you could, and you'd be welcome. We are asking you to share, but not your money or your car or your phone or even your favorite shirt. We are asking you to share something that you have lots of and keep making more of. We are asking you to share something your body has plenty of. We are asking you to be willing to be a bone marrow donor. So we are asking you to consider to be willing to literally save a life. We wanted to tell you how we got interested and involved in wanting to register people to be bone marrow donors. Like a lot of ways that people get involved in something, we got involved because it got personal for us. For the summer, I didn't think about what my bone marrow did or think about what happened if my bone marrow stopped working. None of us were thinking about bone marrow or how it produces blood cells. Red blood cells transport oxygen to the lungs and tissues. Platelets are responsible for blood clotting and white blood cells fight infection. But it isn't like you think about your bone marrow doing any of this, or if you're lucky, you don't really have to. And this summer, we were thinking about our jobs and having fun being camp counselors. This past summer, a bunch of us were camp counselors. Kira was also. She was in charge of special events. Now, I've grown up with Kira, and I, I know her thing is being really creative. But at camp, she just wasn't herself. This summer, Kira didn't have much energy, even for the cool special events she was planning. And then she started to get all these bruises all over her legs and arms. She didn't know what they were from, but we were all really worried. Then in the fall, we found out that Kira had aplastic anemia, and we learned a lot about what that was and a lot about bone marrow. And we learned that if in the next year, Kira needed a bone marrow transplant, there was no match for her on the current bone marrow registry. On the worldwide registry. That doesn't mean there isn't a match for Kira, or for all the other little kids, teenagers, and mothers and fathers. Or like sisters, like mine. Absolutely. Sisters like Kira who need a bone marrow match. It doesn't mean that no one matches. It means the person who does match hasn't come forth yet. But maybe you will be the match. And that is why we want you to watch this video. So you can find out how to be the match on the bone marrow registry. Hi, I'm Kira. This past summer, um, when I was first diagnosed, we thought it was just a vitamin deficiency. So I went into the doctor, got some blood tests done, and they figured out it was something much worse. And I've had a lot of tests run, and I've been all over the country talking to doctors. And it turns out that aplastic anemia, my type anyways, is only curable by a bone marrow transplant. So what these kids, my friends, are doing, it might not save my life, but it will save someone's life. In order to sign up for the bone marrow registry, you have to be at least 18. So I can't register yet, but I can help spread the word to others about the need for people between 18 and 44 to register. There are 12,000 people in the U.S. searching right now for a bone marrow match, and there are 27 million people on the worldwide registry. Unfortunately, there are only matches for 60% of those people. Right now, there isn't a match for everyone. Some people, like Kira, my best babysitter, are still waiting for someone to get on the registry and be her match. There are over 70 diseases that a bone marrow transplant can cure. All with a simple swab of your mouth and a consent form, you can make a difference. Once on the registry, a person has only a 1 in 540 chance of being someone's match. So the odds are pretty low which means that we have to get more and more people who are willing to be donors on the registry. I can also tell you that if you're a match for someone, there are two ways to donate bone marrow, and the procedures have come a long way. So let's be clear about what it means to donate blood marrow. If you are a match, the patient's doctor will decide which method of collecting your marrow is best for the patient. One way of collecting marrow is for the donor, you, to take injections of a drug for a few days, then, on the day of your donation, your blood is removed through a needle in one arm and passed through a machine that will collect only the stem cells. The remaining blood is returned to you by a needle in the arm. It's no scarier than getting blood.
Another way of collecting bone marrow is by a single day surgical procedure. You get sedated and bone marrow is extracted from your pelvic bone. This might leave you a little sore the next day, but you can still go to school, hang out with your friends, and do your regular activities. We got to meet someone who has an FSU right now and is a bone marrow donor. It's just an amazing feeling knowing that you know, I did that. I gave that back to her. And without that, you know, she may still be in the hospital. She may not be here anymore. And I can't even explain it. It just, it just feels so good knowing that, you know, I had an impact like that to someone's life. We have told you a lot about why we want you to consider registering to be a bone marrow donor, and now we are going to make it even easier for you to register. On Saturday, May 7th, we will be hosting an event in downtown Tallahassee. Come to First Presbyterian Church right downtown on the corner of Park Ave and Adams Street. Right across from the downtown market. Be there between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., and you can fill out a consent form and get your cheek swapped. It only takes a few minutes for you to register. We'll have cupcakes and lemonade, and we promise you this won't take no more than 10 minutes. And in that amount of time, you can start the process of being a lifesaver. You might be the match someone has been waiting for. You might be the match my family is waiting for. You might be the match our friend is waiting for. Or sometime in the future, it may be someone you know and love who is looking for you to be the match. And you will already be in the registry. Be the match!